Welcome to Nova Now, your connection to what's happening in Northern Virginia. I'm your host, Angelique LeBlanc. Springfield Days is a community-wide celebration that takes place the weekend after Memorial Day each year in Springfield, Virginia. It's fun for the entire family, with events taking place throughout the weekend and even at various locations. Here to tell us more about the event are Nancy Jo Manny from the Greater Springfield Chamber of Commerce and Hannah Wilkerson from Lake Akateen Park. Welcome ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so Nancy Jo, tell us what and when is Springfield Days? Okay, uh, Springfield Days is a community-wide festival it is held annually the weekend after Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's May, sometimes that's June. <laughs> this year, Saturday, May 30th, and Sunday, May 31st. Um, it is a multi-day event. Some events are on Saturday. We have one event on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Very good. And um, I mean, it's since it's multiple days, how do you guys put this, put this huge festival on? It's a group of... Um, Partners. Mm -hmm. We have Fairfax County Park Authority, Lake Akating Park, South Run Rec Center, uh, working with business organizations and civic organizations. So each event is at a different time, day, and venue, and it is totally managed by that specific venue who is an expert. In, mm -hmm. and in running that their event. own show. Yes, Fantastic. Exactly. Are exactly. there any costs associated with people actually wanting to come and see Springfield Days? Each event is a little different, but there's no cost per se to the attendee. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have a couple of events that have registration fees okay. if you want to participate as a vendor. Um, we do have one event that has a parking fee, but mm -hmm. you don't have to park in that lot. You mm -hmm. can walk to the event. So for all intents and purposes, it is open and free to the community. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And one of these very special uh, things uh, this year, which we'll get to very soon, um, I can't wait, um, but is there anything else new for this year that you want to talk about uh, for Springfield Days? So new this year, we have changed our Active Lifestyle event mm -hmm. um, uh, in, for the past couple of years we've done a full 5k this year we're, we're focusing on a 2k an okay. event that is more family oriented mm -hmm. stroller pet friendly nice and we've added a market expo where we feature small businesses local vendors who can showcase their product to the community mm -hmm. So Hannah what is this cardboard boat regatta are they actually cardboard boats they are actual <laughs> cardboard boats. Um, it's a 26-year tradition that's been put on by the Park Authority. Mm -hmm. You have children, adults, businesses, they all um, make boats actually made out of cardboard, <laughs> and they come and do a little relay race around the lake. It's in different heats. Mm -hmm. And they love it. Sometimes the boats make it through two <laughs> categories, and sometimes they don't. Mm -hmm. um, but the, ki the kids love it. They love making it and being creative. And they, it's a great activity where sometimes when they sink, it's still fun. Yeah. It doesn't really matter who wins. Yeah. And so you mentioned that kids are involved with, with the race, um, but do businesses have their own boats? Yes. Um, there aren't a ton, but mm -hmm. we do, and we encourage lots of businesses to come out. They come out and have a blast. They get so competitive, but it's great. <laughs> I love seeing the local businesses come out with the community, mm -hmm. and they all bond, and they kind of get their name out there, but it's not forced. It's not marketing. It's just getting together and having a good time. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, are you guys looking for other racers, or how can people find out about being a, a cardboard boat racer? <laughs> sure. Um, you would go to springfielddays.com. Mm -hmm. You could download the form, okay. and you send in. You can fax it to Lake Akating Park with mm -hmm. your registration fee. It's $20 before the event, but then mm -hmm. the day of, you can still register if you have your boat ready and everything. That's awesome. And that's $30 mm -hmm. that day. Okay, and then how many boats do you actually expect uh, to be racing the, the, the day of the race? We expect around 50. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do they vary in size? Because I'm sort of just imagining in my head just 50 boats some of them sinking, some of them actually making it to the end. Um, yeah, is it just utter chaos, or how, does it, how is it controlled? Uh, it it yeah. is a little crazy <laughs> and exciting, but we have certain precautions that we do for the Park Authority. Uh, everyone who's, who works at the Park Authority has CPR and first aid. We Very have, good to know. We have <laughs> lifeguards mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. in the lake. This is the only time of year you actually can get in the lake and mm -hmm. get a little wet. 
Uh, we also have volunteers from the local community that come out and kind of do crowd control, make sure everyone goes at the right time. Mm -hmm. And once your boat does sink, you do have to get out of the water. Yeah. We do have some, <laughs> we still have rules about the size. Uh, we only slightly change the rules, but we've every year we kind of do slight changes. Mm -hmm. You're only allowed three layers of cardboard this year. Okay. And you can't cover the boat with tape. It has to be no that more than... That would have been my thing more that than I would try two to do. Inches, <laughs> more than two inches from the seams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So this cardboard boat regatta is just one of the actual events. Um, Nancy Jo, can you tell us about the other events that are sure. going on sure. within Springfield Days? So Springfield Days weekend starts 8.30 Saturday morning with our active lifestyle event. We're calling it a Springfield Day Stride. Mm -hmm. It's a 2K event. Um, we start at Springfield Town Center, that's our headquarters, and we use sidewalks and multi-use trails kind of showcasing them where you can really get out and enjoy the community, um, feel safe, mm -hmm. um, get out with your family and walk. Um, then we have our farmer's market at Springfield nice. Town Center. That's from 10 to 2 on Saturday. We also have our Pet Fest, which is one of our other signature events. It's from 9.30 to 3.30 on Saturday at South Run Rec mm -hmm. Center all pet related. We have pet vendors, we have uh, performances on stage that are pet related. It's great opportunity to bring your pets on leash, mm -hmm. but to just really enjoy the day with your family and learn some new things at the Pet Fest. We have our um, Market Expo, which is our, a vendor event from uh, 9.30 to 2.30 okay. on Saturday, and that's an opportunity to come out and meet with some of our local businesses. And vendors, vendors. and crafts people, yep, I exactly, guess. exactly, awesome. exactly, exactly. Very good. And we have a car show from 10 to 2 mm -hmm. on Saturday, and that's the American Legion. Uh, cars from all ages, all genre, um, just come on mm -hmm. out and enjoy the day. Um, so that's Saturday, a variety of events. And then on Sunday, we have the mm -hmm. Cardboard Boat Regatta, which really caps off yeah. the weekend. Caps it off. Well, yeah. that's fantastic. It seems like there's so much to do um, in just a, a few days, but uh, it's free. So I yes. hope people go check mm -hmm. it out. Thank you so much, ladies, for being You're here. Welcome. I really appreciate your time. Okay, thank you. To find out more information about Springfield Days, visit springfielddays.com. I'm Angelique LeBlanc. Thanks for watching. Nova now.